We stand here today in the land of the British. And we are telling the British that we are no more longer the part of Nigeria anymore. Yeah. The amalgamation of 2014 has expired. Okay. And now, when they came to our land, we discovered a lot of things that they have done in our land. And right now, England, Britain, we are telling you today that we are no more part of Nigeria again. Yeah. You join us together by force. We are three tribes in Nigeria. Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo. Oh, yes. Right now, the Igbo people are the rise to depart from Nigeria. Yes. Fulani, they are the people telling us in Nigeria, we are no more part of Nigeria anymore. Oh, yes. What we want now, we want to out of Nigeria. Yes. We want to exit from Nigeria. Yes. Nigeria is no more our country anymore. Yes. We Yoruba, we have the culture, we have the integrity, we have the potential, we have the abilities. In our land, we have enough to sustain our nation. We are over millions. In Brazil alone, we are over 70 million. In America alone, we are over 80 million. In England, we know the numbers of Yoruba people in this country. When the army of Ifen came to America in Pennsylvania, they mentioned it, and it was addressed that Yoruba ethnic, they are the largest ethnic in Africa. Why Britain? Why are you holding us down? If you are not getting something in our land, you are tipping our property. Britain, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We don't want our people to be killed in our land anymore. Yeah. Our women, they cannot walk freely. They are being kidnapped, yes. they are being massacred, yes. and they are being killing our people. Yes. And even to our youth, yes. they are not food for youth. Yes. In this country today, in America, in Britain, while you people believe most, the youth are the future of tomorrow. Yes. But today, no more youth in the land of Nigeria. No more future for youth. No more future for youth in Nigeria. That is why we youth to stand also. And we are saying we are no more part of Nigeria anymore. And right now, the genocide is going on in Nigeria. They are killing our people. They are killing our people. They are killing our people. Killing our people. Killing our people. And also, we want Britain to realize that when you came to our land to march us together, we are not part of that marginalization. And right now, we say no to our dad. We say no to Nigeria. No to Nigeria. No to Nigeria. That is why our leader, Emirator Prince of Badia Kitoye, the leader of your Yoruba nation, yes. and the lawyer saw the go Osha, and is our leader to tell you people today that we are not a part of Nigeria anymore. Yoruba nation want to exist from Nigeria. We need our autonomy. We need our self determination. And Britain, we want you to understand that self determination is our. Emilio Khan, what happened? Why the change of mind now that we have given you for the country as you so desired? Your whole desire was to rule the country with your quote, it is our turn. Now that you have gotten the presidency that you so desire, why do you want to leave it and run away? Who, who are you leaving the country to and where do you think you're going? <laughs> Oh my goodness, when I saw this video, it was very funny to me. I'm like, wait, what is going on here? The Yorubas want to leave Nigeria. For who? Who do you want to leave the country for? I've been open at turn again. Open at talk saying that our turn. Now the country has been presented or been given to you to rule. You decide that ah, now is the time to back up. <laughs> back off. No, mm -mm. You go nowhere. Yorubas in the UK, led by one Sunday Ibo, who had made petition to the UK government to release them from Nigeria, that they are tired of Nigeria and the amalgamation that was done in 1914, they are not part of it and they don't want to be part of it anymore. So let's look at the amalgamation first. The amalgamation, which is the merging of Nigerian three major ethnic groups, was done in January 1914 by then colonial master Lord Lugard. A lot of scholars condemn this act of merging Nigeria together, saying that that is the major problem we have in the country, and people are still saying the same today. 
since the amalgamation is over 100 and something years right now and when it was done nigeria was just a small country now nigeria is over 200 million people this is not the first time of us saying that an ethnic group wants to break out from nigeria in fact the Igbos has been on the case the Biafrans has been on the case for the longest time for over a decade right now their leader who is in nande carlo is still in prison for treason and other charges that was leveled against him and still now they've not gotten it let's look at them doing this and doing this petitioning in the uk and not in nigeria i mean what are they trying to achieve by going to the uk and telling the uk government to separate them from nigeria that it was them that merged them together why are they not doing this back home like I, when i saw the protest was in the uk i'm like what are they trying to achieve by this are we not independent again it's been 64 years of independence so why are you going to the uk and telling the uk government to come and separate us so the way you made us hundred and something years ago does it make sense to you because it doesn't make sense to me i mean somebody should explain to me why the uk why nigeria why not nigeria are we not independent anymore or are we still being colonized by the uk it doesn't make sense for me for them to even try this in the uk like if you want some amalg uh, amalgamation to be separated divided or if you want separation you should come back home you should walk to the house of assembly you should walk to the house of representative nigeria is an independent federation that manages its, its, its own affair i think you should come back home come back home do your petition walk to the Aso rock you know talk to price density in your yoruba language tell them say we the yorubas we don't want to be nigeria again okay come let's be going and let's see if you will follow you or not <laughs> at this point am i disappointed that you people for doing this in the uk yes you know the funnest part of it in the last election the yorubas were very sure that it is their turn to rule nigeria and the slogan was everywhere it is our turn it is our turn it is our turn now that is your turn of como and you have your so desired presidency you want to run away from the country you want to leave the country you want to leave the country as in how where, where you think say you they go where do you think you're going you want to leave the country after you voted tribe you want to leave the country even when you see say fire fire day here you carry your leg say because it's my tribe that my tribe person you go carry your leg put inside the fire you voted tribe you voted tribe with everything in you to make sure say another tribe no enter that place you did it and now you want to you want who will want to leave baba for i be who who, who now want to leave baba for ha who on a one leave baba for my action now who you want to leave baba for you guys are not going anywhere we are nigerians and we are here I, i'm i'm kind of I, I was happy to see this thing actually because it, 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 it occurred to me that the hardship is getting to everybody at least you're not buying fuel lesser than because you're not buying fuel lesser because you're a yoruba you're buying fuel the same price an Igbo man is buying fuel you're buying fuel the same price and now someone is buying fuel will it happen tomorrow again you will still vote tribe tomorrow and all of us will continue to suffer inside it so <laughs> where will they go and when they are talking about they are killing our girls our people and nobody is saving nigeria all of us are in need together you both we are not we are not left out the houses are not left out the ejors are not left out the edos are not left out everybody is suffering the same thing so it's not only people that are suffering it she on a thing on a turn see what they happen for on a turn now on a one run away abandon on a turn i want to go run away abandon on a turn safe eh all of their petition was rejected by the uk government they also released a statement which you can see on the screen that all the petition is rejected and they should go and sleep and come back whenever they are ready because nobody is going anywhere at this point thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section do well to subscribe if you're new here don't forget to turn your post notification on so you'll be the first to know whenever i post out any video thank you so much guys for your constant support on this channel i still have coffee and flu you guys should bear with me i'll see you guys in my next one bye